What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball boxing, golf, and more. Better Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus. On your first deposit, bet online when the game starts. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or... Check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. Back on the Boss Man Show, my friend, the show, Coach Preston Spradlin of the James Madison Dukes now in the Sun Belt Conference. We'll see him in Atlanta playing at the Georgia State Convocation Center here real soon. P, what's up, man? You look good in that purple, man, and in that gold. I see you, brother. Man, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me on. And uh, as you can see, I've got blue and uh, blue and gold from my Kentucky and Moorhead days everywhere so big change for me to switch over and, and put this purple and, and different shade of gold on uh but it's been great man it's been an unbelievable uh transition and change and excited to uh to be here and to talk about our team and, and, and preston man what's good about it you know coach bonson's guy i knew very very well for his time at georgia southern going to james madison so he left you in a, with a great situation because it's good to take to take a job when it's not something you have to rebuild from scratch per se. It's been a situation where it's winning and making things happen. So I have for you to go to a place where you knew the success of winning already in the administration and the people in the community of Harrisonburg is behind you guys. Yeah, without question. Uh, you know, this was a very different, uh, you know, coaching carousel off season for me. Um, it was a great blessing to, you know, have a lot of different opportunities, but uh, for years, you know, I'd had this uh, James Madison job kind of circled at the top of my list that, you know, should the opportunity become available that I would, you know, really pursue it. And there was a, a mutual interest there and, uh, you know, very thankful to, to Mark and the success that he had here because you're right. You know, most oftentimes when you're taking over a new job, it's because the, the guy before you didn't do a very nice job. Right. And so you typically get fired and you're taking over and you've got to you know, revitalize a fan base and, and build momentum and excitement. Those things are already here, you know, uh, they're coming off the, the greatest season in, in school history, uh, winning at everything here at James Madison right now from football to baseball to volleyball and so on. Uh, so it's an awesome time to be here. Uh, but in, in modern basketball, especially when a, a, a coaching change occurs like this one, whether it was uh, a successful change or not, 
the the roster's pretty depleted. And so uh, Mark did a great job of building the foundation, the, mount, the momentum and excitement that I was able to come in here and, and kind of ride that wave. But uh, we've certainly uh, had a lot of uh, empty roster spots to fill in that locker room. No doubt, P, man, if, and for you, man, I, I think your success is more head state. The relationships you've built over the years really helps you build a roster out the way you did, man, because it kind of takes you back to an Alcabella Juco day. <laughs> get a whole new roster from, from, from the jump, man. But how often was it beating these young men and vetting them out, man, with your staff, man, and finding the right pieces to be a part of your program, man? It had to be fun for you guys, man. It was, you know, it was extremely fun. You know, one huge blessing, man, was uh, to, to be able to bring my staff with me from Moorhead. And so those guys were able to come here, hit the ground running, and uh, we were able to, you know, capitalize on uh, just, you know, building the roster, starting with the guys who were here, right, who wanted to stay, uh, kind of evaluating the players that were here, figuring out what they were looking for versus, you know, what we were looking for and, and were those going to match up. Um, current signees that we had here, we were able to hang on to a, a really good high school player from in the state here, uh, won three state championships at John Marshall High School in Richmond. Uh, Red, Tom, or, uh, Red Thompson, so really excited about him. And then we kind of worked on to just more players who were more familiar. You know, we went with uh, a couple guys that we brought over from from Moorhead State, uh, Eddie Ricks, who was a freshman for us last year, and then Mark Freeman, who was uh, OBC Player of the Year two years ago. And uh, then we started to, you know, get into some guys who we had previously recruited um, in years past and then also guys we had competed against and. uh you know, that familiarity really allowed us to be able to fill out the roster pretty quickly. But the process was fun. Um, you know, it was exhausting. But I will say, man, since coming over and, and being here and being ingrained in the, the community, the culture, and the campus here at JMU, man, there's just such a unbelievable vibe and energy that has just been contagious. And so we've been, we've been really uh, feeding off that as a staff. And Preston, I talk about that, man, how important it was to bring your staff with you, man, because I know in this business sometimes it gets tricky when you get to get a new, get a new job trying to bring your staff with you. But you had to bring everybody with you, man, who wanted to come with you. So talk about how important it was for you, to the guys who, who helped you over these Morehead State, left them get the, get the reward of going to the new spots well and, and reaping the benefits even more in their careers. You know, it's it, it, it's it's really hard to to overstate it. You know, it's, it's just uh, – it's so important. Um, you know, this is my second time taking over a program and having to rebuild everything um, in a short amount of time. The first time I had to also hire staff and build a staff. And so this time the staff was intact, uh, was able to even bring, uh, you know, keep one of the guys who was here and Calvin Baker, who did a phenomenal job on Mark's staff. And so he's really been great with the transition. And then I was able to, uh, you know, with extra positions here, be able to hire back Deontay Ferguson. Uh, who was with us at Moorhead four years ago. And so just a ton of familiarity. Those guys were able to get here, hit the ground running. They know, you know, how we like to do things, how I like to have them done. And obviously there's a trust factor there that, you know, I don't have to watch over those guys and tell them what to do. They're, they already know it. And um, in the success that we've all had is is because of the chemistry that we have together as a staff. And so being able to bring that here is a, is a huge advantage that uh, that has really put us in a good position. And Preston, listen, like Joe Mazzula talk about how he does, 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 does get his staff out. Like he he gets to trust his staff and just let them do their thing, maybe offense, defensive, special situations. So for you, having guys you trust who know know how you want to do things, you you be the head coach, you go to meetings, meet with boosters, community things, having the guys from there don't know a few guys in the office taking care of the business for you while you're out being being the face of the of the program. Man, you're exactly right, and and obviously there's a lot of that going on here, uh, just with the excitement and momentum that you had mentioned, and uh, the alumni base here, the fans, and so there's so many people uh, that that I need to be able to get out and, and get in touch with, my you know, being able to take my wife with me to uh, meet and greets and different things, and so it, that you, we stay really busy with those things. But you're exactly right. I don't I don't miss a beat. Don't worry about a thing that's going on here in the office or on campus or on the recruiting trail or in the locker room. Uh, because of the, you know, the chemistry and the, and the trust that I've got with my staff. You know, guys have been with me forever. You know, Dominic Lombardi uh, been with me. This is the 10th season that uh, he and I have been together. Uh, Scott Combs, seventh year together. Kaysen Burke, our third. Um, and then uh, Deontay Ferguson, our third year together, too. So, you know, long time that we've all been together, that we've learned, we've grown, uh, been through the ups and downs of, of, of different seasons and, uh, you know, excited to have those guys here with us. 
And plus, Tom Cruise has been with the guys who, who hadn't played for you before, getting them, get to know these guys, sending them to buy into your culture, buy the way, way, way you want to play, buy into how you are as a person, which is a great person that you are. So how cool is it on guys getting to learn you and your staff and build those bonds with these young men as you all prepare to summer right now for the season coming up here and start the November the 4th? Man, it's a lot of fun. You know, at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a teacher at heart. You know, I think all of us, uh, all of the coaches on our staff are, we really enjoy that part of the of our job, right? The, the reward for us is when we're getting on the court, coaching the guys and, and planning everything and then making adjustments. And so uh, that's been exciting, right, to really just kind of lay the foundation because we'd, we'd gotten to a rhythm the last few years at Moorhead to where we could kind of step on the court and there would be five, six, seven guys who know exactly how practice should go, how that drill should go, uh, how, you know, whatever it may be from a culture and identity standpoint. And so, uh, you know, having a couple guys come from Moorhead with us has really helped. Uh, but it's also been a, a fun challenge for us, too, to kind of get back to our roots of, of, of reteaching um, a lot of those fundamentals, a lot of those uh, cultural and identity foundational things that make our program good, uh, you know, to this new group. And so that's been fun. And uh, again, that, you know, our, our, our roster, man, they've done a great job. These guys are competing. Their attitudes are off the charts, positive group. They're coming in and, and working their tails off every day and, and fighting to get better. And so it makes it a lot of fun to come in here each and every day. And first, I'm assuming with it being the roster being so new, you're doing more team stuff than you usually would in the summertime with the four hours you have because you got to kind of get, get some of that stuff in now because you don't have to cram it in come August head into the into fall practice. Yeah, you know, we, we do a mixture of it. Uh, the first couple, uh, week and a half or so is is pretty much individual work, and uh, we really try to build that up. You know, you got to get guys in shape. Uh, got to get them acclimated and kind of build those habits, get the terminology, um, you know, get some uh, just fundamental things that we want to do. And then, you know, what you're working on with the guards, you're also working on the other side of that with the big guys. And and then you get a chance to put it all together. So at this point, we've had our guys here about three weeks. Uh, we've had three team practices. You know, obviously they're shorter. Uh, but as we progress, you know, into the, the next couple of weeks of the summer, it'll be less individual work and significantly more teamwork so that we can get those guys together, just like what you said. And Preston, how cool is it to be in Virginia? You can get to the, the, the DMV area, you can make, make like a circle around Harrisonburg, you can get out there and see great talent up in the, in the Mid-Eastern area, man. So talk about the location of, J, of JMU, how it can access to, to, to a lot of great talent. Still get down here to Georgia, Kentucky, Tennessee, the kinds of fine players based on where, you, where you're at and that, that, that whole radius around you guys. No, it's a, it's a huge bonus. You know, uh, I think this uh, any time that you've got a footprint in your region where there's a lot of talent, it gives you a great leg up, you know, against the other teams that you're competing against. And so, you know, you can draw, like you said, a three hour circle around Harrisonburg and there's tons of talent and you can get everywhere easily and accessibly. But, you know, we're still relatable getting into the Midwest, you know, places that we had success getting into the South, getting down into Florida. Uh, but it's really nice to be able to have a lot of talent here locally. And uh, we've benefited from that. You know, we've got a lot of local guys on our roster. We've got, you know, two of our returners are from uh, Virginia, the DMV area. We, you know, we got a, a freshman from Richmond. We got someone from Baltimore. Uh, we got another guy from Charlottesville and someone from the Jersey area. And so, um, you know, being able to really capitalize and bring those guys back and uh, even guys that maybe you didn't get the first time around, but you're getting them via the transfer portal, this location and, and the region and the talent uh, are certainly going to going to be uh, important aspects of our success. And Preston, uh, have you started looking at like uh, the, the film of the Sunbelt Conference is a tough conference, man, uh, you know, a tough league. So if you start looking at the film of teams in the league, trying to get a feel for it now at the summertime as you kind of get ready for this season coming up here. Not a ton. You know, uh, I did uh, go back and, and watch, you know, the the tournament run um, and some of that I was getting familiar with the, the current players, the guys that were on the roster here. And then obviously, you know, taking a peek at some of the teams within the Sun Belt. Uh, but, you know, right now, man, our time's been a little bit more consumed, obviously, with the, the roster build, moving our families here and now, uh, you know, rebuilding the schedule because we'd also it, the, the schedule was uh, a blank slate. Um, and so. Uh, the negative part of that is it's been a lot of work on our staff to, to do it. The positive part is we get to, uh, you know, have our imprint on the schedule and, and play who we want. And so most of our film work right now, evaluations and things have been uh, in the non-conference, you know, getting familiar. But once we get that accomplished, uh, I do know that our staff is excited to dive in and, and kind of 
you know, just make yourself familiar with how, how coaches are, are going to, you know, what their style is, their system, um, and, and kind of figure the league out a little bit from there. But um, I know your next thing you're going to say, man, is it's a bear, right? It's uh, this, the Sunbelt Conference is, uh, is, is certainly a, a big time league and there's tons of talent, really good coaches, great programs in general. So we're looking forward to the challenge. Yes, it's APL. So I know I'm gonna catch heck for this and flag, but it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting when you play Georgia, Georgia State because me and the Hayes boys have been friends for years. We went to the same high school and stuff, man. So I know they're gonna give me some some some, some garbage, but I said I said P my guy too, man. I've been mean, know y'all since high school, man. But it's gonna, when you go to play Georgia State, it's gonna be very fun, man. For real. Oh man, no, those those guys are great. You know, uh, love love those guys, man. Known them for a long time. Apologize, my light kicked off. Are you good, still, man? <laughs> still still figuring things out here at JMU. So, uh, but no, man, those guys are doing a phenomenal job and um, unbelievable job on the recruiting trail. You know, I've been able to see some of the the players that they brought in, and um, you know, got a chance to see all those guys down in Destin uh, last month at the Sun Belt meetings and connect with them. And so, a lot of familiarity with a lot of the coaches in the league, you know, Richie Riley and I go back a long ways, um, you know, to his days when he was coaching at Pikeville College, which is my hometown. And, uh, you know, he's doing a phenomenal job. And so all those guys within the league, known him a long time and looking forward to uh, competing with them. It's crazy to you know that our high school produced three head coaches, you know, Amir was a, was a one over there with us as well, you know, and Jonas and Jarvis, man. Like, it's funny seeing people you grew up with have success. I have success as well on the, on the radio side, but it's just it's funny seeing guys you grew up with, man, have success the way they are and haven't changed a bit since we were younger. No, that's great, man. That's what it's all about, right? You want to see everybody be successful in, the, in their uh, own, you know, respective professions, and uh, that's that's what makes the this whole thing really special. You know, sports is just such an unbelievable connector of people, and, uh, you know, you're a great example of that. And people, before you go, man, I'll share a story about Al Horford, man. That we talked about him off there, man. Al Horford's a friend of mine, a former Atlanta Hawk guy. So, talk about your connection to Al Horford, man, for the listeners who don't know that story that you told me off there, man. Yeah, man. I, you know, when I, as soon as we jumped on here, I, I thought of you because obviously watched the championship the other day and was so happy for him. Uh, I, got, I got to show a picture here. I keep it in my office. Uh, this is. Uh, this is back in 2011, coaching the Dominican national team. That's me in the middle and, and Al uh, right there to, to my right. And so uh, we won a, uh, a bronze medal down in, uh, oh, man, in Argentina uh, in the, uh, the Olympic qualifiers. And so uh, he, was, he was probably the most professional person I've ever been around. And, and that's not an exaggeration, not even just the most professional player the way he conducted himself, the respect that he treated people with, the professionalism that he brought every single day. And, uh, you know, I share a lot of uh, – I credit a lot of my coaching style uh, and philosophy to that time that I had coaching the Dominican team because I was coaching guys who were older than me. And so what I learned, you know, through that experience was, you know, I wasn't much of a raw raw guy. Obviously, that wasn't even my role on that staff. You know, that was going to be Coach Cal's job to, to, to you know, get after the guys and motivate them. But what I learned is, is guys like Al, professional players who have a very uh, serious approach to the game, they want to know the details, right? They want to say, hey, give me the edge. Let me know what, how I can be better. And so uh, I love to share the stories and the interactions that I had with him and the guys on that team because I think that's what – you know, all players are striving to be, you know, they want to be pros. And so that's what pros do. And uh, he's the most professional guy that I've ever been around. And I'm super happy for him. Uh, you know, two-time national champion. Uh, he's an Olympian. And uh, now he's a, he's a world champion with the, with the Boston Celtics. So really happy for Al Horford. And Preston, you know what I love about Al, how he more morphed in his career. He went from a post guy, now he's a – Three point three 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 and D guy at the five now, and was guarding Kyrie and Luca and surviving the switches. Like he was moving his feet, yeah. causing them to take tough too. So, and he's he's so selfless. Porzingis comes in, he's a no, he has no problem in being the six six man, and he was whatever they need him to do, he did it. And that's what shows about he's a winner and about team. It didn't matter what his role was; he's going to win. And he'll do everything for the team. So I hope it's a great example of any young man about being selfless, being a great teammate, doing what's best for the team, not not best for him, but for the team and for the greater good. And now, now look at it now. He's, he's a champion once more. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, he's got 
he's got something you can't teach, right? We talk about it here in the recruiting process. He's got championship DNA. And uh, and obviously, as you alluded to, he's got great adaptability that, you know, to be able to, to be in the NBA as long as he has now over 15 years or I've lost track of it and to continue to have that success and, um, you know, be able to, you know, adapt his game and develop his game. And, uh, it's just a credit to him, uh, his competitiveness and uh, his character, because all those things come out. And uh, he's, he's a winner, man. I'm really happy for him. And Preston, I'm going to tell you what my first team was, man. Coach was Mike Woodson. I had Mike Bibby, Josh Smith, Joe Johnson, Al Horford, Marvin Williams, Zaza Pachulia, Jamal Crawford, Jason Collins. So those are the guys I came in with my first year. <laughs> wow. So I'm blessed. And I think tell people like that well, Mike Woodson did me a favor. I think that's what I've had for Mike Woodson. He's in Indiana now. But Woody's always been in my corner since day one, and he's he helped me out a lot. And so to Al Horford. So I'm happy all those guys were successful. So it's just funny how best basketball world is, man. Yeah, I went from a Hawks ball boy as a kid to now where I am in today. It's just so fun, man. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate you always thinking about us, man. Uh, done, done a number of these different interviews with you, and I uh, appreciate you making the transition over here to, to James Madison with me from Moorhead State. It means a lot. Hey, you're my guy, Preston. You know that. I remember, if you have my friend, I remember, I mentioned for the first time, over 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 CC tournament at the Municipal Auditorium. <laughs> if you don't remember, that was the first time me and you met. It was back some years That's ago. That's right. That's right. There's been some years, man. That's been some so years. I've been so. ever since that day, man. So it's, it's, it's all love, man. It's, it's family here, brother. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, man. Thank you as always, my guy. We'll do this again real soon. I hope to see you doing a live period in Atlanta if you come out here to recruit, man. I'll be down in Hotlanta, man. Always down there checking out the players for sure. I'll be down there soon, okay? All right, buddy. I'll see you soon, my guy. BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. Covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews. You name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BELIEVE. B-L-E-A-V for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 105.5 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show. Twitter at Boss Man Show and Facebook Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King.